What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Now that we got Emmanuel Forbes, I've been thinking, like, maybe they might get rid of Kendall Fuller. But then I was thinking, also thinking, like, why would we get rid of the guy that's been making a huge difference on our defense? You know, he had, like, 13 pass deflections last last season. And that was the most on on, on the team. And then he also had three interceptions that he ran back for two touchdowns. And I was just thinking, like, you know what they should do and what Emmanuel Forbes should do? He should look after Kendall Fuller as his veteran to learn from. You know what I'm saying? And really just, you know, pick his brain and try to ask him all the questions he can on, you know, really forming a bond with the team and really knowing his role and really, you know, we all know he's going to start. We know that for a fact. Because, you know, uh, Ron Rivera has said it many times that he needs somebody to make a difference. They need more turnovers. So why would you not start the guy that can make those turnovers for you? Especially when in, in practice, he's been doing great. You know, he had, uh, his first day he had an interception. So you can tell practice is going good for him. And I think this is a great pick. And I think as time went on, I started to change my view on this and just thought that, you know, what they should do, they shouldn't get rid of Kendall, Kendall Fuller and they should just allow him to mentor Emmanuel Forbes. And I'm just thinking, like, um, yo, like, this season is about to be really great because just think about it. We got Derek uh, Forrest on the back end as safety. Then we got Cameron Curl as another safety. And then, you know, we just bought in Jaquavia. I don't know that man. Quan, Quan Martin. That's what he, he go by. But <laughs> we they just bought in Quan. And, you know, it just fit perfectly. And I think Quan is the heavy hitter, bro. Like, I, I've been watching his videos, bro. And that man, uh, what was it? He had, like, I believe it was, like, uh, two forced fumbles last season when he was uh, with the Illinois, uh, whatever team that is, Illinois State, I think. But whatever college that was. But, yeah, that boy a beast. Like, he's really him. Like, if I was to compare him to someone, you know, I mean, I ain't even going to do that. But I can tell you this. He's a heavy hitter. So, I, you know, next season, I mean, this season, I got him doing, you know, at least two two forced fumbles again. I got, I got that happening. And I think the backfield is the it's, it's set up for greatness. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we got an elite team right now. I don't think many people can see it, but I feel like we got all the weaknesses, you know, you know, I feel like they all filled up and, you know, I feel like we trying to attack every, every situation that we struggled at last season. So I think it's a great pick and, you know, Emmanuel Forbes is great. He's, he's doing good and he looks like he's becoming what, you know, everybody said he was and, you know, you still got more practices to go through, so who knows? But I feel like uh, Emmanuel Forbes going to have four interceptions and ten pass deflections this season. And he's going to probably return two of them for a touchdown. And, you know, when I think about it, another reason why I feel like they won't get rid of Kendall Fuller is because when you think about it, they used to have a cornerback that was super old and they never got rid of, and that was – D'Angelo Hall and they D'Angelo Hall played on the team for like till he was 34 and then also you know I think after 30 they started moving him around on defense he went from playing cornerback to safety and I was just like you know they still using him and who knows I, I don't know the cutoff for like them and how they feel about it but I feel like right now you shouldn't get rid of Kendall Fuller and I feel like um, Kendall Fuller has at least like three years left before you consider releasing him or trading him. You know, because, I mean, we all know <clears throat> it's great cornerbacks that's still in the league and they old, you know, and it's happened before. And, you know, um, this season, I feel like it's going to be great. It's going to be a great one. And uh, also, like, who do you think 
Emmanuel Forbes should learn from. Because I was just thinking about it, like, all right, who on the defense would I would I actually want to learn from if I was a rookie? You know what I'm saying? Like, I would feel like I would want to learn from Kendall Fuller. You know what I'm saying? You can learn from anybody. You ain't, just because you're on defense don't mean you can't learn from the offense. But I feel like I would take I would take advice from Kendall Fuller and then also from Terry McLaurin. One, because, you know, I can see, because he's been, Terry McLaurin been been in the league for a long time, and this is his fifth year, and he started all all of his years. So it's like, I would want to talk to him and see how he did it and, you know, what what issues issues he dealt with, you know, and injuries he, he made it seem like he didn't have, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm sure, even just because people don't go out on injuries, don't mean they don't have them, you know what I'm saying? They just know how to make it seem as though they good. They play through it. And, uh, yeah, so that's how I'm feeling. And just leave, it, leave all your questions in the comment section because I read them all. And I, and I died laughing. Somebody called me uh, Samaj P. Ryan. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I look like that, man. Do you? You think I look like him? No? All right, cool.